Hello everyone. Welcome you all to this video where we are continuing with module 1 uh, basic concepts. So let us discuss now the concept of frequency in continuous and discrete time signals. Okay, how the frequency plays a vital role in a continuous and discrete time signals. So for continuous time sinusoidal signals, a simple harmonic oscillation is mathematically described by the following term. That is x of t is equal to a cos omega t plus theta where the omega would be varying from minus infinity to infinity. Okay. Uh, sorry, the t value would be varying from minus infinity to infinity. So, this uh, subscript a is used when x of t denotes an analog signal. Uh, it is completely characterized by these three parameters that is, a is the amplitude of sinusoid, omega is the frequency in radians per second, and theta is the phase change. Okay. Yeah. Instead of uh, omega, we often use the frequency in cycles uh, per second or hertz because uh, it is easy to calculate in uh, uh, if we calculate the frequencies in a particular cycle, okay, in single cycle. So we we will use both forms in representing sinusoidal signals here. Okay, you can see according to this diagram. This is one analog uh, signal. So next, let us see discrete time sinusoidal signal. A discrete time sinusoidal signal may be expressed as uh, x of n is equal to a cos omega n plus theta, where this n values uh, n value is varying with respect to uh, time changes. Okay, so that's why n would be varying from minus infinity to infinity for uh, every single discrete samples it would be varying. Okay, so here the n is the integer variable called the sample number, a is the amplitude of the sinusoid, omega is the frequency in radians per sample and theta is the phase in radians. If we instead of omega we use the frequency variable f then it is defined as omega is equal to 2 pi f. So, this is one relation which you need to be remembering. So now the relation becomes x of n is equal to a cos in place of omega substitute it as 2 pi f. So it would be a cos 2 pi f n plus theta again where n varies from minus infinity to infinity. Okay. So this was about discrete time sinusoidal signal and in this way the discrete time sinusoidal signal is represented. Okay. For different set of uh, samples where the uh, samples are uh, varied with respect to the values of n. Okay. The increasing or decreasing values of n. So this is the negative set samples and these are the positive set samples. Okay. So note it down. Next are properties. A discrete time sinusoid is a periodic only if it is frequency f is a rational number. Okay. So here a uh, uh, periodicity property comes under this uh, discrete time signal that is x of n plus n where this n represents the uh, period uh, period for a particular period that cycle would be repeating. Okay. For a discrete time sinusoidal signal it is represented as cos omega naught n plus theta where f0 is equal to k by n, where n is the fundamental period, okay. Where omega0, we can write it as uh, 2 pi f0, for that f0 is equal to k by n, okay. Where f is equal to f by fs, where uh, fs is the sampling frequency, okay. So, in this way, uh, these are the sample uh, uh, sampling signals here, basic sample signals, you can see, you note it down, okay. So yeah, that's all for this video guys, uh, we are left with a few important uh, how the signals are represented, uh, different different signals that we are going to see in the next video, okay. So that's all for this video guys, keep supporting, thank you.